Hello everybody, my name is Fodor Berman, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2, last time we left off. Uh, things were a little bit out of sync, for whatever reason. I hope this video is not the same, but uh, <clears throat> in case it is, I apologize in the future. What the? How'd this horse get out here? <laughs> I don't remember riding this horse out here. Whatever. We're gonna ride the San Gimignan, the San Gimignan, that place. We're going to that place. That place I'm supposed to be at. The place I can't pronounce the name of. That place. Wow, it's very bright here. What a very small commune. I can't wait to pick those oranges. To ride across these fields. Make a home here. Probably go to that viewpoint. And absolutely kill the guy in charge. Oh, hello, uncle. Sorry I brought the horse that close to your guy. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. Oh? He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than its host. The southern gate suffers for it. So this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Man, they sure use a lot of Italian in random places. They don't do that in, like, Assassin's Creed 3 with uh, the Native American stuff. Well, I think they do, actually. It's been a long time since I played Assassin's Creed 3. I think Oliver wants to play that one when we get to it. Yes, guys, we're doing the entire Assassin's Creed series now because... A popular demand. Where are we going, Mario? You're leading me in All one right, direction and looking in the other. how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. Sounds fun. Ready when you are. Then let us begin. Oh, that's a lot of men. I have ten throwing knives. I love taco. I love tacos. Who saw that? Shut up. You are not allowed to breathe up here. Same with you. Oh, Mario has a giant freaking axe. I thought he had a sword. All right. Mario's bringing in the big guns. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Pieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. To be safe. Join me once they're dealt with. Oh, come on. I am a master assassin. There's no need for me to. Safe. I like how it took the guy on the left like a couple minutes to realize that his buddy's being attacked. Get out of my way! Alright, cool. I'll attack this guy. Ha 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 ha! So, can any of the NPCs ever kill my enemy? Whenever I actually need them to. Or do I have to do all this? Stab you in the back. Stab you in the back. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll stab you in the back, too. I'll stab you in the front, actually. I didn't get to do my signature move. The glory of the dick kick needs to happen. It's the best thing this game has ever invented. The dick kick. Love how these guards have not fought any of us yet. They don't appear to care. Wait, did we lose someone? No. I guess my NPCs can die. That sucks. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. 
go to him. Yes, I will, after I take down this poster that has caught my eye because it's so glowing. Why is it only in reach for me? Oh my, a war has broken out. You think you got enough, enough of a battle going on here, man? My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root out that thing. See that Yasu is All right, I guess I'll do things your way. I'm out. Don't worry. Hey, everyone's chasing after me. Ooh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. Nope, not enough time. Say mierda? Me too. Oh no, you don't. I see you, witness. The witness protection program is not existent in this universe. Come here. I'll deal with the rest later. Suck my dick. You have no reason to be here. Go. <laughs> I have lost them. Oh no, I have not lost them. Oh my god, they're right behind me. I went to scratch my ear, and all of a sudden the headphones it's fell off. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time. <laughs> what was that? The Your job is to calm the citizens. The freaking soldier just ran through him. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. You evil Spaniard. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. Then let's not keep him waiting. He comes for you, but it is I that will kill you. Hmm. I can't wait until I get a hammer so I can say hammer time. Let me use my knife. I haven't used my knife in a while, or ever actually in this game. Let's use it a little bit. Give it some love. How do you like my knife? Ouch! Alright. Loves you a lot. How about you? Do you like knives? I like knives. It likes you too. No, 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 Vieri, I need you to die. No, I'm trying to slit the guy's throat. God, Vieri, fuck. Sit down. Kick you in the nuts. Not afraid to do it. And he is dead. Dun 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 dun. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda. Pezzo. Solo che avesse sofferto di più. Hai avuto la fine che meritavi. Spero che brut. 
Enough, Ezio. Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. He's right at you. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Hey, I got $2,400 for killing a man. Sweet. I wish I got paid that much every time I did anything correctly. Are we done with the memory sequence already? I'll just keep twirling around in circles until I'm allowed to move. I guess the memory sequence isn't over yet. Well, we still got 20 minutes, so I guess I'll keep recording. 19 minutes, to be exact, but hey. Every minute. Well, hey, where am I going? Okay, cool. Let's just run into every tree in the villa. I'm here. Though you could have seen it from a mile away. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will I was right. Toscana means more. Tuscany. Do you know I know Italian. He's right, you know. Walk with me. Yes, Uncle. Mario looks like my dad, to be honest. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful. He doesn't. Men he doesn't sound world. like my dad, but and he kind of looks like my dad, but without glasses. Order. And my dad can Which see through both eyes. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. So I like and Mario. I Mario, hi, Dad. I wish to be free. Dad. But not until dad, why don't you love me, Dad? Dad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My dad loves Others me. Least will guide me. Where will you go next? Dad. <laughs> Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. See. Si. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. See. Si. This sounds like a I good plan. I read the letter my uncle gave me. All right. Well, sure. Let's read the letter. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think he, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution. Okay, well, that's too much for me. To, you guys... Yeah. Play the game. <laughs> what you looking at, Uncle? Look familiar? Kind of. I've been in here for a couple Golden times. Stages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it see. supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across the Plot twist. Pages. It's the map of the moon. An assassin like us, who long Your father has been to the moon, Ezio. Eden. He is a moonian. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. A 
Start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Haha! -ha. I guess I'll go do things now. What's this? More things to climb and more things to do. I guess I'll do more things. Because that is what I am supposed to do and stuff and stuff and stuff. Climb up the wall, damn it! This is your simple command, Ezio. Just climb up the wall. I believe Ezio's climbing programming is not exactly 100% full. I would hope that I do not gain these skills to terribly climb. I guess we're climbing this again. I say after the fact I'm already on the freaking perch. Good job, me. Lagging behind, like, by five minutes. Goodness, I'm slow. Okay. The next page is there. Man, imagine if you lived in Italy back then. There's no such thing as fat people if you did this. Every day. Of your life. And then, uh... Wow, the map is pretty wonky whenever moving it around. <laughs> uh, we need to get that fixed. I wonder if they did that in the Ezio Trilogy. Did they fix that in the Ezio Trilogy? I hope so. I met the CD, not like the games I'm playing right now. Gonna grab this page. Why are they lying around? And then the next codex page is in like I don't know, Satan's butthole, I guess, because I gotta go to hell and back to pull it out. Alright, cool. Let's go to hell and back. Hey it's Chocolate Thunder, oh my god! But I can't ride him. I'll be back again, my horse. One day I shall ride you. Just like old diamonds. And then we will conquer the entire Italian side of for the world. There. I don't know. English is a hard language. Oh, it hasn't even loaded. It'll increase your maximum health? Interesting. Hey, what's going on there? Will I finally be able to have the ability to upgrade my villa? Uh, I have money to spend, so I can surely do it. Memory sequence three completed. Wow. Oliver, I think I told Oliver this after part four that how far I got into the game and. He was like, what the hell? That's impossible. I'm like, no, I'm just really fast, I guess. I'm going to get done by part 30. Maybe less. We have the DLC included, so I have to play the DLC as well. But hey, that's fine. Ah, Claudia. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was Oh here, no, that's so terrible. Like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, then wham, wham, wham. Oh my god. You, start paying for you are my sister. Account, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, 
Travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. My sister's not going to get any money. 1%. We're almost there. Hey, look! This guy. He's very observant. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. Hmm. And if someone brought you money, eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. What about silver? Shop, what if I only give you silver? What do I get then? Goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops hmm. and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. It. So, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, I already know what I want to buy first. First off, we need an art merchant so I can buy the map to this place. Okay. We don't have a tailor. Oh, we gotta get a tailor. Come on. I want to look fashionable. Uh, we need a bank. Give my people clean water. Uh, I only have a couple dollars left. Give my people bitches. Or beautiful ladies, I should say. One or the other. How's that working for you, Monteriggioni? All right, I guess I'll never find out how much value I increased it. Oh, there it is. That's a pretty good bit. It's a pretty good bit. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. What you gotta show me? Better not be dick. I'm not into that. But according to a fan fiction, Ezio is very much into that. Leonardo's to be specific. Holy crap, Uncle, you're walking fast. Slow down, mi amico. Man, I have to run. I have to jog to keep up with you. Ooh, all these people. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were hmm. made home. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure. I wonder why he decided ago. Italy was the place to go. Maybe as many people as live in Italy. In my I'd put it somewhere in the middle I of nowhere. Myself, with no but success. maybe he wanted it to be found. Perhaps you will have better luck. That's just my theory. In order to achieve perfect synchronization, what is this girl's name? You, you have to get that armor. It's not Rebecca. Show me the name. I'm Lunette. I think that she's uh, in Assassin's Creed Origins, actually. I might be wrong. I haven't played Assassin's Creed Origins yet. I haven't even played most of Syndicate, so... Yeah. Well, I played Syndicate. That's a lie. So, I played Syndicate, but I don't remember anything. Where does it want me to go? Ah, it wants me to go back to Florencia. 
Fiorentina. Not to worry, I will fast travel there. Okay, run up the wall at zero, that's cool. What am I going to name this episode? That's a good question. I don't even know anymore. But I'm glad that I got to upgrade the villa. Now I will get money in between episodes. Yay! I'm so happy to get money between the episodes. Let's me fast travel. To Florencia. Oh, I could go anywhere now. If I had to guess, I'd say that we need to go to Leonardo's workshop. It would probably be best that I go there. Look for white sheets to start your free run sequence. What does that mean? It's been two years since the events. Ezio is now 19 years old. If I am to believe the date that he was born. He was born in like 1459, so. Yeah. He's gotta be like 19 now. He's almost my age. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? No. I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha, you found another one. How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe. Stand aside, Leonardo. I got this. It translates roughly to. Build me a new hidden blade for my other arm. Not so much a design this time. Just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? <laughs> of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make while I try what's in that manual fragment? Fake it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Vin Who's that? Who's Vincenzo? Tell me. I demand to know if I have codex pages to stank. That's what I do well. I cash money villa <laughs> let me make this not clickbait in my videos I don't do Wait, is there actual blood in those his hand guy that I killed is I've done it take it try it thank you Leonardo non c'è di che there's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Papisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps. You oh, know. we're being secretive. Start telling to amigo. Gracias, mi amigo. Oh, I got two hidden blades now. Yes. Let me do the Naruto run. And the price too much. All right, I think it's time to end this episode. So leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe.